Here we are on a little park bench in Madison Square Park, and guess who I'm with? Miss Melanie Chandra, who is the subject of our next Lady Drinks Fireside Chat on June 22nd. And you know, I realized that we didn't really get a chance to chat since the last time we spoke, which was like 100 years ago when we did that comedy stint. Oh my God. Uh, for uh, Anish Shah's. It was. Um, a, what was it? It was a. Uh, it was a stand-up comedy tour yeah. for for charity, and he had asked some first timers to, uh, you know, just give a shot at doing stand-up comedy, and it was awkward and it was scary, uh, but we both did it. You know what, though, it was an amazing tactic because you know what he what he did was he got all of us to bring like thirty of our friends yep. and see us make total fools of ourselves on stage, basically. And they were probably the only ones laughing for us <laughs> in the audience. But it was, it was intimidating because it was at Caroline's on Broadway, yeah. which is like a prestigious comedy club, yeah. and these are New Yorkers, and they have a high standard of comedy, and it was just packed. Yes. And so there was these moments where I'm like, oh my god, I have a really great joke coming up, and yeah. then I was just like, <laughs> I was like, okay, just You're like, wait, going. that was supposed to be funny. Yeah. Well, um, I'm going to stick to acting. Okay. And, uh, how about I you? I know. Some people have been like, so when is your next time that you're going to be doing uh, comedy on stage? I'm like, no, no, no. That's not the new trajectory of Joya's career. Like, that was that was like a one-off thing. Yeah. I was made to do it. It was fun, but I'm not doing it again. All Same. right. So, listen, you have made it to great heights with your acting career, but there was a time that you were expected to be the perfect Indian daughter. What was that like? Yeah, I was the typical Indian girl who had to focus on math and science and get into a good college and get a good job after school and take care of the family. And it was really, really important to my parents. And I wanted to make my parents really proud because I loved them and I wanted to support them in life. But it wasn't for me. I, I did all of that. Right. And I did a great job and I got to New York City and I found myself working at a management consulting firm, which is fantastic. It was an amazing opportunity, but I just, it wasn't, it wasn't for me. And what most people don't know is when I was a little girl, I wanted to be an actress. Yeah. I just loved expression. I was dancing, I was playing the piano, and I was obsessed with TV and film. And I would look at the screen and like, that's what I want to do. That's what I really, really want to do. But I put those dreams away for so long.